Today's the day we make our Champions League debut, my friends. We also have an international friendly with England as we face Germany. That is the first game of today's episode. Welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. Appreciate all the love and support from all of you lovely people. And I hope I find you all doing very well and having an awesome day. We're jumping straight into the action today. So sit back, relax and enjoy. We did play for England in the previous episode. That was a friendly against Scotland. The game itself, though, was fairly quiet. Not a lot going on in it. We are at Wembley for this one against Germany. It's our first opportunity to play at Wembley Stadium. So let's see what we do here. Ollie Watkins, Goretzka's with him. And Goretzka gets to the ball first. Germany deep in their own half here. Have to be careful. They've got fortunate there as that ball ricocheted off of Ollie Watkins and bounced straight to a German player. Wagner on this left-hand side. England are putting a high press on Germany and forcing them to find a way out, which at the moment they haven't been able to do until that point there, when it looks like there's now a chance for Germany to attack through Jamal Musiala. I'm trying to chase back here and make sure there's no pass forward for him. There is an overlapping run down the right-hand side. This is a problem because now Hendricks has Musiala again. I can't defend against two players. Burkhard into the area of England on the turn. Now finds Nabry. Nabry will finish. Germany score. It's the first shot of the game and Serge Nabry takes it well. And I've got to say, I know we're only in our second game with England, but I'm not impressed with them whatsoever. The passing is not fluid. We don't seem to have a game plan as much as you would hope we would. We get the ball in good areas and then we pick the wrong pass option more times than not. As I say, we're only playing friendlies and it's only our second game, but not impressed with what I've seen so far from England. Then again, defending from me in that situation wasn't brilliant. So I have to hold hands up and say, also, my fault. Nabry's goal at the break is the difference between the two sides. Chalaba, now Foden. Foden, nice! Watkins finished! It is a game of fine margins! A single shot apiece and both have been taken. Ollie Watkins, what a finish this is on that left foot. The ball finds him. He doesn't even need to take a touch as the ball does reach him. First time finish. Leno can do nothing. What a phenomenal finish from Ollie Watkins. One apiece here. And as I say, one shot for both teams. Both taken. Burkhardt, look at the middle, look at the middle. Jamal Musiala bearing down on England's goal. Musiala, 2-1 Germany. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Three shots, three goals. Talk about clinicalness. Jamal Musiala, give him that sort of time and space. He will punish you. England trying to go up the other end and find a chance to go in front. And, well, that's the punishment. Got to say, though. What a finish we've seen from Musiala, Nabri and Watkins. All three goals taken really well. Reese James to Saka. Saka now then goes back towards Stones. That's a lovely touch from John Stones. Willock into my feet as now we'll play Watkins. Ollie Watkins goes for it and he'll score as well. Ollie Watkins at the double. England a level again. It's just a hopeful pass into the feet of Watkins. And then he has to do the rest, and boy, does he. Again, another well-taken finish. Four shots, four goals. And that's actually Watkins' last contribution to the game as he is substituted and Tammy Abraham is on. And I've just been told to play left striker. We had a change in formation before that. I was playing central attacking midfield, where we've been playing most recently with Salzburg instead of centre mid. But now we've been told to go up front alongside Abraham. So I'm assuming we've gone to a... 4-4-2 maybe. And with two minutes left of this game, it looks like it's going to end in a draw unless there is to be one more chance for either side. Here is Musiala finding Mena. Mena shoots and for the first time this afternoon, a shot has not resulted in a goal. Aaron Ramsdale saves. But now a corner for us to defend. Goretzka will take. Let's see what comes of this. Into the box. There's Emre Chan off the line by Sessegnon. Still there for Chan. His volley goes goal bound, but Foden blocks behind another corner for England to defend. Goretzka again delivers. Tammy Abraham is underneath this one, though. Can we win that second touch? We can. I think we'll be out of time, though, here. And we are indeed out of time. It finishes all square at Wembley. Quite incredible game, really, in terms of finishing chances. But 
up until the 90th minute, every shot had gone in. Then Ramsdale makes a save, which keeps England with the draw. And before we can make our Champions League debut, we first have a game here in the Bundesliga as we take on Klagenfurt at home. Bidstrup. Now Sadar Azmoun finds Bebu. Bebu will go to myself. Hume's on this right-hand side. Always willing to support the attack from fullback. Bidstrup. Capaldo. Nice. Hume. Azmoun in the box. Shot goes through, but straight at Menzel. Easy enough save for him to make. He looks to get the attack going quickly for Klagenfurt, but gives away the ball far too easily there. Capaldo, quick one too. Is now we're waiting for the space to open up. There's a pass out to the left-hand side to Koza. We'll go back a little bit further. He'll now find me. Whipped in first time. Asmoon's there. And Salzburg leads. That was a wicked delivery back post. Asmoon just had to meet it. Nine minutes in. And it is a wonderful start. First time. Wicked delivery back in. Koza's back heel. I mean, had just enough power. But look at the curl on that. Right onto the forehead of Sada Asmoon who has to just head it back across goal to make sure there is to be no save. Slightly unfortunate thing is that I've just been injured in a tackle. I look okay to play on though at the moment, so I'm not sure if it's anything serious. I'm hoping it is not, but it's the first time I've seen an injury sign since we began the series, actually. I don't think I've seen one previously on our player. Here is Bebu. It's now on the right-hand side. Bebu pulls it back towards myself. Inside for Asmoon. 2-0. Ten minutes to go until half-time. We await to see what happens with this injury. But it's Salzburg in cruise control here. Second half underway. Sangare on the left-hand side here for us. Inside to Bidstrup. One more to Asmoon. Asmoon now to myself. He's on a hat-trick, remember. Sada Asmoon. And that ball out wide now towards Hume. Inside for Capaldo to Bebu. To Capaldo! Salzburg are running the show and they are having the time of their lives right here. There is little that Klagenfurt can do, it feels like, because whenever we get the ball, we look so dangerous. 3-0. Capaldo, Bebu, Asmoon, 20 minutes still to play. Sada Asmoon's hat-trick that he's searching for. Ref, advantage played. And now Bebu can find Asmoon. Asmoon holds off the challenge, plays Bebu, blocked. Falls to Boucher. 4-0 Salzburg. Lovely side-footed finish. And you might notice as well, I've got a yellow card because I was trying to work towards the sliding tackle objective and got nowhere near the ball, so I was booked. So I won't be doing any more sliding tackles in this game, otherwise I might get a red. Still got 15 minutes left of this game as well, so there is definitely a chance for us to improve the score further. Here is Asmoon. You're on your hat-trick. Just go for it, mate. And he will. And he'll find it as well. Sada Asmoon will take home the match ball for Salzburg. Feels like everything we've done today, though, has turned into goals. And I hate to say it, but at 5-0 now, there is still more time. This could get even worse for Klagenfurt. Asmoon's effort finds that top corner. We want six. Full time here, Salzburg 5, Klagenfurt 0. What a game and what a way to head into our first Champions League game as a player. In case you missed the Champions League group draw in the previous episode, we have been drawn in a group with Bayern, Inter and Club Bruges. No disrespect to Club Bruges, but this is probably our most winnable game on paper. So we need to try and start with a victory here. And it's time, as soon as I've done this training, to make our Champions League debut. Something I've been waiting for since joining Salzburg, knowing we would be playing in the competition. And we are named in the starting 11. This is the dream for a lot of players in world football. Play in Europe's biggest competition, the Champions League. Well, we are doing that tonight. An opportunity to shine on this stage. Let's see what we can do as we drive immediately at Club Bruges. This is already a brilliant run. We need something at the end of this, though. Keeping it in play for the moment. Koza, I was hoping he would maybe overlap down the left. That's brilliant. Here's Koza now, then, in the area. Back post is Asmoon! Salzburg! It is wonderful to see after just seven minutes. Sada Asmoon, who bagged a hat-trick in the previous game, is off and running in this one. Excellent delivery down the left-hand side of Koza as well. Initially, I was hoping he'd do the overlapping run before I played the ball back. He still did it in the end. It just took a little bit longer. 
I mean, Mignolet stood there in the Club Bruges goal. He's sort of just looking and going, well, what am I meant to do here? Because there's nothing he can do, really. Asmoon is so close that he has to score. That's four in two now for Sardar Asmoon. Oh, well, I'm going to be booked for that challenge. Again, I'm trying to do the objective of sliding tackles. I was just late, but I will definitely be getting booked as I was very late. And um, here come Club Bruges then. 25 minutes on the clock as Lena is down the right-hand side. Looks for the cross. Cosa, it is out of play for a corner. There is the booking that we knew was coming our way. And again, I have to now be very careful that I don't get a second yellow and an eventual red. Here is Hume. He's got Capaldo ahead of him, who's got me ahead of him. And he will find me as well as I'm trying to make something of this. Battling away resiliently. And we've got it back to Osmoon. And it's 2-0 Salzburg. And we just had to work and work at that because the ball itself, I took a heavy touch, invited the challenge back through, but we just never gave it up. Won it back. Asmoon is in red hot form in front of goal. He's not passing up an opportunity like this. And it's Salzburg 2 to the good. And I'd like to think heading to their first victory of the Champions League group stages. There is still one more chance, though, before the end of the half with Club Bruges coming forwards. That's nice. As Soa's worked his way into the penalty area, blocked by Cabaco. Soa will still have it, though. And now Lena, will he go for the shot? He will go for the shot. And it requires the attention of Schlager to turn it behind. And it is going to be one final kick of the first half. Scov Olsen's corner into the box. Bebu heads away. And that will be that at half time. Vettlerson to Skov Olsen. Still 27 minutes to go here. And if Club Bruges get a goal back now, who knows what the remainder of this game will have in store for us with Lena on the right-hand side. Fiore blocks it behind. Corner ball, Club Bruges. And Salzburg having to remain concentrated to make sure there's no way back in for the home side. Unless this corner is able to be converted. Diop! Diving header. And... I think he should have done better with it because there's pretty much no challenge on him. I mean, there is a number of Salzburg players around him, but no one really challenges. And he'll be disappointed with himself that he's not hit the target there. Nice ball through. Soa uh, is in behind and he will not miss. Club Bruges will have a goal back. Feels like a bit of a game of two halves here. Salzburg, decent in the first half. Created two chances, took them. Kept Club Rouge relatively quiet. We've seen a header from Diop go just over the bar. And then here, Soa has pulled one back. Please don't say we are about to be frustrated by another Club Rouge goal that results in an equaliser. Final two minutes of the game. As we look to see out this first victory of the Champions League group stages. Vanneken forced back. This is what Salzburg need to do. Not allow the ball forwards. And there we have it. Asmoon with a double giving us a 2-1 victory. Realise I've not really shown you the league table at the moment, but here it is then. After eight games, we are five points clear of Rapid Vienna. So it's going pretty well following the draw and the defeat we had. Now we take on Altach, who have eight points and currently sit ninth. You'd expect a win here, although they've had five draws from eight games this season. Without speaking too soon, it seems like we've got to grips with the Austrian Bundesliga now. Getting used to how our teammates play and seeing Asmoon bag goals for fun in the uh, previous couple of games. Here's Capaldo, edge of the penalty area. We're allowed to turn and we're allowed to shoot. It will be deflected through and kept in play, actually. Credit where it's due. I expected that to result in a corner, but no. They make sure it does not happen like that. Sahin allowed to turn, goes for the shot. Routine for Schlager that, but I don't like the fact that he was allowed to turn so easily. It's a nice throw as well by Schlager. And Asmoon, there's the ball towards him. Drive all the way, my friend. Sada Asmoon taking it a little bit wide, though. Cuts the ball back into the middle. We're on the left side, but it doesn't matter that he took it wide because he picks out the pass. And we're there in the middle to finish off the move. And it's 1-0 Salzburg. I was hoping to run to the camera there to get to celebrate, but... Well done, Sardar Asmoon. Turns provider this time around. And when we get that sort of time in the box, I have to finish it. Look at this. One touch, second one finish. Bebu. Now Capaldo. Capaldo. Asmoon in front of him. Bebu to his left. It's nice. Bebu, lift that ball in, my friend. And we're there. But no. Good defending. Bebu's ball was decent. And I almost got there. 
Nice control here from us as we look to play back out wide to this right-hand side. Now Hume to Capaldo to Hume. It's absolutely brilliant! And Hume deserved the finish. He went for the goal, but just wide. I think initially he's looking to pass it, but I told him to shoot because he deserved to find the finish after the little interchange between himself and Capaldo, but narrowly wide. Hume forward to Capaldo. Capaldo on the turn, allowed into a position where he can cut the ball back for Asmoon. Asmoon holds off the challenge. Now we're found into the feet of Sangare. Just couldn't get his shot away. If he had have got it away, it possibly would have been 2-0 Salzburg. Capaldo, Asmoon again. Now Hume once more. Hume with a chance to cross. It's put in. And before we can get there, it's good defending, but it feels like a matter of time before Salzburg will grab their second. Capaldo now into my feet. One more out wide here towards Ibertsberger, who has a fantastic name to say, by the way. That's... Very fun to say, Ibertsberger. Sangare, Sangare to me, into Bidstrup! There is number two. As I say, it was only a matter of time before we found it. And Bidstrup's got it. I've just managed to do another sliding tackle. And at this point, I'm celebrating them like I've just scored. So that shows you how much I'm trying to do this objective. Bebu found. We'll play it back out towards me on the left-hand side. Asmoon ahead of us. Asmoon's now got the run of Ibertsberger. Ibertsberger into the area. Cuts it back for number three. We've got a brace. And we owe it to Ibertsberger for the little ball back. As I say, though, I'm celebrating every sliding tackle that is a successful one. Like it's a goal. We're only on four at the moment. And we do need 30. So, long way to go. But that is our seventh goal of this season. Any moment now. That will be the end of this one. A convincing 3-0 win from Salzburg who are beginning to put together a run of results to pull away at the top of the league table. we got a brace here and a sliding tackle as well to add. So, yeah, one more sliding tackle. Done. I'm hoping that this is a joke because I don't actually think the sliding tackle went on. I'm pretty certain I had three before that previous game as well. So the one sliding tackle I did make has not even been added Nice one. Anyway, this is the current situation in the league. Five points clear of Rapid Vienna after nine games. And if I'm not mistaken, the Austrian Bundesliga does get split into two groups after 22 league matches. You have a champions group and a relegation group. So once that happens, we then have more games to play. But after 22 games, it will be split into two different groups. The top, I believe, six and then the bottom six, essentially. Uh, champions League, we have got Bayern. That will be next episode. And at the moment, we're top with Inter, who beat Bayern on the opening day by a goal to nil. So very much looking forward to playing against Bayern. We do have them and Inter actually at home in the next two games. So no away trip yet for us, but two home games on the bounce against Inter and Bayern. And the other thing I wanted to show you was actually the player stats to show you where we are in terms of those player stats. We are the top scorer. Seven goals in nine games. Bebu and Asmoon with both four each. In terms of assists, we have nine in nine. So right now, 16 goal contributions in nine games. We are loving life at Salzburg. Still chasing a playstyle plus though. I've not been able to unlock one yet. And I'm still trying to go towards it. So I will let you know once we are able to unlock one of those. And I'm recording this video before the last episode has gone live. So... I did ask you in that episode to leave me some suggestions for target teams, but feel free to do so in this video as well in the comments section and uh, we'll choose our next target team. But just be aware as well of the objectives set for us in terms of the tackling. I showed them last time out where we had the likes of Man City, Barca, Real Madrid all needing us to complete tackling themed objectives. And that, my friends, is where we will leave today's episode. A huge thank you for all the support and for watching. If you did enjoy it, a thousand likes is the target. You always smash the support, so I'm much appreciative of that. I'm trying to make sure you have enough videos on the channel to enjoy. But please note as well, I do have assignments and uni work to be focused on. So if there's ever a day where I miss an upload, I apologize. But the support has been so good recently that I've tried to make sure I've kept these episodes daily. So... Yeah, hopefully you're enjoying them. Until next time, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening, look after each other, and I'll see you all back here again for more My Player action very soon. Adios!